the story of the city or the underground city in the Grand Canyon that the UN has control of. Is that, true? that what? That the UN has control of. Is that true? I don't know that the UN has control at one point. I know they were involved because the family. What was the guy's name that found it to begin Kin with? Kincaid. Kin Kincaid. His family, they're up in Idaho, and one of their adopted sons uh, was Navajo Indian. And after he heard the story, he went down there and went looking for it. And this is hearsay. Right. <coughs> and uh, he started down on a trail that supposedly led down to the general area. and. He said that he was met by two men wearing light blue helmets. And they asked him where he was going. He said he was going on a hike. And he's a Navajo. And this is Navajo ground. And they said, not today, you're not. So they were in a UN uniform then? Uh, he just mentioned light the blue, blue helmets. helmets. Light blue helmets. So I know they had involvement at one time. And what's the cover-up there? Why Why the cover-up there? Because it doesn't fit. It's actually a long story, but basically what it comes down to is we don't want other nations knowing for certainty what is here in the Americas, which would give them additional motives to try to overthrow this country, because it's been going on for thousands of years. There are just certain things here that are much more important than other places. Okay, so I'm here with Dan Law, and I've done several um, videos on the gypsums in the Grand Canyon, and Dan <laughs> has said they're not Egyptian. Dan, what do you mean they're not Egyptians? Tell me about the Egyptians in the Grand Canyon. Is the whole story made up? Is there something to it? Is it just something different? What's your take on that? I can't tell how many times in my research that I've seen somebody take a simple word and turn it into a massive bastardization of a story. The word Egyptian that is now attributed to these underground cities in the Grand Canyon came from the original report from Kincaid where he said Egyptian-like then followed up with the word Oriental. Ah. But see, Oriental doesn't sell books and newspaper articles. Egyptian does. There were no Egyptians in the Grand Canyon. If there was anybody in the Grand Canyon, it was a people from long ago who were more than likely of Hindu origin. So I know that there's that book out there, I think called Pale Ink or something like that, I could be wrong, and it talks about how the Chinese had an expedition that came over here. Oh yeah. I don't remember. Fu Sang. Is, is that uh, the people you think that this could be? Or do you think it's a different group? Or why do you no. think there's an underground city? Is that part real? I believe it is. Um, I'm actually working on two other locations at this time. Um, one I'm quite certain is a legitimate underground city. <laughs> and that largely comes from the individual who's been there, has stood in front of the two nine-foot stone doors. Um, don't want to say too much yeah, more about no. that, but we're, we're, we're trying to do something with it. Um, you know, these things are marked on the old 15th, 16th century maps for a reason. I mean... What, what, what's marked on the maps? Uh, these city locations. Really? And whether they were underground cities or surface cities, I don't know yet. I know that one of the cities that is on the old Latin maps, uh, Tantantique, in one of the documents was said that 
It was their principal city, not their capital city, but principal. <laughs> and it shows it as being located right about where the north end of Lake Mead is. Now, do we have any archaeological discoveries at the north end of Lake Mead? Oh, we most certainly do. But it's been severely downplayed. Um, Talking Valley of Fire area? I don't know what they call it. They called it Pueblo Grande of Nevada. Big House of Nevada. And the people go down and they go to the museum and they see a few little ruins and they get it in their head that it was a village. Uh -huh. What they don't tell you is that near five miles of that city is underneath Lake Mead. Uh -huh. It was a massive city and civilization. There's another one that if you were to follow the Grand Canyon up a ways, I won't give the exact location, but it was called Abacus Nuc Granara, which I'm not going to attempt to tell you what it means other than Granada comes from pomegranate. Uh, or at least that's the uh, interpretation. Now, that particular city was the capital city of those particular people. These people, if I'm not mistaken, were Indo-Greeks. And these cities at one time later were occupied by Roman colonies. And this is one of the archaeologists' best kept secrets here in the States. It's like the ruins in Payson. They'll, they're very quick to tell you who didn't build them, but they won't tell you who did build them. The people that I think are responsible for the underground cities who originally constructed them, hollowed out existing caves, made the caves, I don't know. I believe as a people that came here somewhere not too long prior to 900 BC. And I have my reasons for believing that. I believe the Mayan are direct descent of these people and they are of Hindu origin. I believe that sometime after these cities were used for whatever purpose, that they were abandoned. And along comes a new people, the, an uh, the ancestors of the Aztec. And they found the caves, they knew about the caves. And something happened in their homeland, which threw them into humility, according to their writings. <coughs> and caused them to leave their homeland. They went and occupied these underground cities, six of the tribes, for 200 years. According to the Aztec, they occupied the city that they were in for 300 years. The first six tribes ended up down in Mexico at least 100 years before the Aztec and they eventually became what they are today. You know, I know it all sounds crazy, but believe me, there is, there is evidence to support these somewhat conclusions, we'll call them at this point. I mean, anybody can go out there and get on the internet and type in the word Mayan and uh, uh, Hindu people or Indonesian and start looking at all the articles that are being written these days um, concerning this theory that the Mayan people came from Hindu people or Indonesian. Look at the temples, that uh, the pyramids that were built in Indonesia. That looking at them, you would swear you were looking at a temple in the Yucatan. Really? 
uh, and that ain't the half of it. The, the Hindu religion or Buddhist religion is so intertwined with the Aztec religion, it's ridiculous. The, the names and the, the place names, Maya. Maya was Buddha's mother. Um, Guatemala or Guatemala Buddha. It, it, there's, there's so many names that ties in with the Hindu, it's ridiculous, down in Mexico and the Yucatan. 